I feel like I'm on MTV Cribs, but in a car. Hello lovers and welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today I invite you into my home for a car tour. So I'm at the tail end of a three week long road trip living in my car and I wanted to show all the things that I brought on this trip. Some of the things have been useful, some of the things have not been useful. And I know for sure on the next road trip I'll be packing my car a lot differently. But I wanted to show what I thought that I needed when I first decided to do this road trip. I'm gonna start at the front of my car and work my way to the back and then into the trunk so that you can see everything that I brought. So let's get started. Okay, so starting from the front, right here is where I keep my batteries that need to be charged for my camera and for my microphone. Right here, I keep a dryer sheet just to keep it fresh in here. And that's pretty much it. I like to keep my driver's seat pretty, clean and uncluttered. My car is a mess because I've been driving for three weeks. All right, here's where the magic happens. I'm sure you've seen from other videos, other travel videos, that this is my travel snacks bag. In here, I have some drink mixes so that I can have flavored water. Okay, I'm gonna move. This is such a loud area. Okay, hopefully this is a little better. So this is my travel snack bag. In here, I have some drink mixes. To, so I can have flavored water. And then I just have some nuts, trail mix, things like that. I have this little purse because I thought that maybe I would put my toothbrush and toothpaste so that if I just need to run in and go brush my teeth, then I would have it. But so far I haven't used this, so that's not coming with me next time. I have my Kindle that I bought like two years ago and I've probably used one time, so I probably won't bring that again. And then I have my Bible with my highlighter pens so that I can do my morning practice. If you haven't watched that video yet, I have a video on what I do in my morning practice. These are all my documents for my car, registration and insurance. I have my emergency flashlight. And then I sometimes I'll hang this so that if I need extra light when I'm recording, it's really handy. And then my wheel locks for my car. I have more snacks and this is a portable charger that I got for $80 that was a piece of crap that I'm definitely sending back because it came with like a female car charger instead of a male car charger. It's weird. It's like a Chinese product that was not really worth it so it's definitely going back but I charge up my uh, batteries for my camera and stuff like that. So this is my backpack. I take this everywhere. This has my computer, my camera, my mic, and then I have my toothbrush and toothpaste so that I can just go brush my teeth in the morning real quick, my purse. I have always have this bottle of water and my phone and my charger. So I keep my front seat really clear and tidy so that it doesn't look like I'm living in my car. I also have this thing that I bought hard to see. I'll make another video on this later. But this is like a bean bag, heavy, and then a sticky pad so I can mount my camera. And it works really well. And then I have my shade for my front windshield so that when I go to bed at night, it just goes in the front. All right, we're gonna move on to the back seat. Okay, so this is my bedroom. As you can see, I have my pillow with my silk pillowcase. This is my little Nana pillow. This is was my Nana's who passed away, who I love so much. And this has really come in handy because when you're trying to position yourself in the back seat, sometimes a little extra cushion here and there is really worth it. This is my sweatshirt that I wear at night when it gets cold. So I just have it just sitting over here at the side. And then I have my trash bag. I usually put my phone and my keys back here when I go to sleep. So this is my bed. I have my kind of thicker blanket so that I lay on that. And I have my regular sheet, my fitted sheet, and then here's the mattress. And you can see that it kind of sits there. I'll make another video on that. And here I have my business planning stuff. And then I have the desk that I put my computer on. And if you reach down, ugh. if you haven't already watched my video on how I pee in an emergency in my car. So that's where I keep my supplies. This is part of the mattress. It is kind of like a bumper guard for your armrest. Okay, then I have my huge comforter. 
my big white comforter. This is so super warm. I know it's bulky, but it really does make a difference on cold nights. Then my jacket just kind of hangs out back here too, so I can grab it when I get out of the car. Let me go to the other side of the back seat. Okay, the other side is where my feet go, but I have my second shade, which goes on the back window. And I have my other little, I don't know if you can see that, my other little neck pillow. Again, you never know when you're gonna need some extra cushion, so I have little pillows here and there. Here is a little carrying case, and this just stays on this, you know, on the side of the car behind the seat. And this is where I have, well, usually I have my pee container in that little Ziploc bag, but I cleaned it out recently. I have my extra trash bags, I have my eye masks so that I can sleep comfortably, and then I have a balaclava, which is like a ski mask in case it gets cold or my nose gets cold. That's pretty much all I have in there. And I just keep it to the side so that it's easy to reach over and grab in the middle of the night if I need to. So that's my bedroom. And now for the fun part, the trunk, which is kind of messy because I'm just getting back, but I have a lot of stuff in here, so let's check it out. Um, you're not subscribed, so real quick, just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and put a like on it. First thing is my cooler. I don't think I'm gonna be bringing this on the next journey because it didn't really come in handy. Whenever you go to buy ice, you can only buy like really big bags of ice and I don't have that much stuff, so it's just kind of a waste, and waste of space. But I do have my snacks. I have my cookies, my chips. This whole bag is full of like nuts and like I have protein bars. And then I even have these like bumblebee tuna kits for the protein and then I keep extra like spoons and forks roasted almonds I mean these are these are my travel snacks these is this is where the fun happens so I just keep all my travel snacks in there so instead of having the cooler I'm probably just gonna have another flexible tote bag so that it's easy to like maneuver back here because this is kind of rigid and it doesn't really move much okay so I have a little McDonald's cup in here I have extra jelly ketchup and sugar packets and if I need to get hot water, then I can go to McDonald's and be like, hey, can I get some hot water so they don't charge me for a cup. This is one Starbucks cup that I used. If I have to go to the bathroom, then I always walk in with this cup as like my decoy. Now, don't get all crazy on me. I do go to Starbucks fairly often, so I don't feel bad about using their bathroom. But sometimes if they're like, oh, you have to shop here to get like a code to the bathroom or have access, then I have my Starbucks cup. In this bag, I have extra blankets. I have my big puffy jacket in this air compressed bag. In this packing cube, I have scarves, gloves, and beanies when it gets cold. So this bag back here is basically for cold weather. I have some extra toilet paper. I just have these little like flexible containers. These came from the Dollar Tree and they're really handy because they're, they're flexible so you can move them around. Here's my Mr. Heater. So in case I get cold at night, I can turn this on in the car. My propane tanks for that. Some doggy pee pads. If you've watched the how to pee in the car video, you'll know what that's for. Uh, a lighter. That's pretty much it for that container. In this front container, I have a little bowl in case I want to make oatmeal. Some womenly pads. Some duct tape. The stand for my Mr. Heater. This is to blow up my air mattress if it goes down a little bit extra screen protectors for my phone, my vitamins, and some off mosquito spray. And this container right here is my extra cords and GoPro and like extra um, camera stuff. This is, these are my grocery bags. So if I have to get groceries at Walmart or Target or wherever I'm going, I have that. Plus I have Apple, some more vitamins that I bought, just some stuff, you know, basic stuff. Okay, back here, I have an extra pillow, and way back there, way back, that blue thing is a camping chair, so in case I wanna go sit by at the beach or a lake or something. This whole bag here is full of shoes and boots. Do you think I used more than two pairs of shoes? No, so I'll be bringing that again. Have my snacks. If you haven't watched that video, Vancouver Snacks, go watch that. I brought some snacks home for my family. This container, Right here has my shirts, more shirts, umbrella, curling iron. 
more snacks. <laughs> my pants, this purse right here, this is what I usually use to store all my toiletries. So I have, this is my shower bag. I have my dry shampoo, my brush, makeup. And that's pretty much where I keep it. And so when I'm gonna go get into the shower, I put some of the stuff into my backpack and I take that in. I have my laundry bag, which is pretty full because I just got back and I'm ready to like unload all this stuff and, t and do laundry. And this one, I have extra sweats, underwear and bras, a couple scarves, and then I have some hats. Like I said, I brought a lot of snacks for my family. And then I have my tripod right there. I always carry one big container of water. And then when it starts to get low, I'll go and buy another one because these are only like a dollar. And then I bought like, I wanted just to get like a couple coffee cups in case I need hot water or just to make my coffee. So I don't know, these were cheaper just to buy the big thing than to buy the one cup. Down here in this netting, I have my flares, just in case. And then finally, I have my first aid kit. It looks kind of messy now, but it was really organized and it really worked well when I was on this trip. Oops, I almost forgot to show you what's in my armrest. Okay, so I have a little bit of change, some mints. I don't know what this key is for. This comes out. I have obviously, like everybody, a bunch of napkins, tissues, my antibacterial wipes. This is the windscreen for my microphone, my charger, another charger, and then my extra socks. Okay, so that's everything that I brought on this first three week journey up the West Coast and back. And everything was pretty great, but there's a lot of things that I don't think that I'm gonna need. So I'll have more room in the trunk next time so that I can like if I want to bring back snacks or souvenirs or if I just want to like add more blankets or something different then I'll have room to do that I'll probably gonna make another video on how I pack for my next trip but is there anything that you feel that I was missing or you feel that you would need let me know in the comments because there might be a reason why I didn't bring it or something I may not have even thought of